Okay, the next topic, Fourier transforms and Fourier series. We'll start with Fourier series. So before we jump into that, a little bit about sinusoids. Let's say you have two sinusoids with the same frequency, but they have different amplitudes and different phases. So it's possible I could rewrite the second term. Instead of sine, I can write cosine. So cosine minus 90 or cosine shifted to the right by 90 is the same thing as sine. And from here, I could do some phasor notation. If I have a calculator that can do that, I could just put that in and find that result with that magnitude and phase and then write it back in terms of cosine. So any sinusoids of the same frequency um, could be combined into a single sinusoid. Uh, that is important for a variety of reasons. One of them is to keep in mind um, you could be asked, for example, to find the power dissipated when this is applied, this voltage is applied to a resistor, and you can't find the power of each of these individual components and add them up. You'd actually get the wrong answer. You need to look at that and then find the power. The reason you get the wrong answer is these are not orthogonal. Um, if they were cosine and sine with no angle, they would be 90 degrees out of phase, and actually that power calculation would work. But they're not orthogonal. In some way, they're canceling each other out. So you're not getting the correct answer for power.